Hello everybody, this is a continuation of my previous video with the small rig teleprompter. As you can see, here's the setup with the tripod and it looks pretty cool. So now let's jump into the application, which is teleprompter premium. Okay, so I'm gonna use my daughter's uh, iPad and then we're gonna go into application store or app store. And in here, we're gonna type teleprompter. I actually have my keyboard connected to my iPad so that I'm gonna type it with my keyboard, teleprompter. And then it's when it says free teleprompter. It's actually called teleprompter and premium. So let's download it and open it up. All right, so this is the inter main interface of teleprompter premium. Uh, this is basically the, the free version. Um, I haven't purchased the upgrade version, but there's actually extra features that if you do this for a living and you do this often, you might as well get it. This is the main interface. So what we got here is the different scripts that are available. In this case, I have a demo and I also have one that I imported. And this one, I did it on Notes and I dropped it from my iMac into my iPad. So let's open the demo. Okay, I'm gonna go over the interface of the applications and all the available features that we have on this free version. Okay, let's click on start. So the, the paragraphs start moving and then here's the speed, S slow or fast. And then we're gonna pause, we're gonna start pause, we're gonna change the direction, starts, and now it goes from the bottom all the way to the top. And then we're gonna pause, and now it's going to the opposite direction. I mean, if we want to go all the way to the bottom, we press here. And if you want to go all the way to the top, we press here. And this is basically for us to see it um, on the iPad. But when we place it on the printer, we actually had to turn this around. So what we got to do is we're going to go to settings. And then we're right here where it says mirror. We're going to click on here. Now, when we place it on the printer, we're going to be able to see it while looking at the camera. And now the first thing we're going to do is change the font size and the spacing. So in this case, it's kind of small. So we're going to go higher and then we're going to give a little space and then we're going to click there. Let's pretend we're reading the teleprompter. So basically this is what you're reading. So, and then you can start. Welcome to the teleprompter premium. This is an example of script that you can experiment with to get started. Great. I can go back again and then um, we can choose the background. For instance, right now it's black. I can change it to white and then, but now it disappeared because the letters are in white. So let's go back over here and we're gonna put back in black or blue. And it's blue, I suppose. But we're gonna keep it in black. Okay, well, right here in the corner, we have a edit script. So we click on edit script and now we can add something else. We can do some good luck. And then we click done. Pause, start. It will show good luck at the end. And then we can edit the script and we can go back again the cursor right here and delete and done so basically this is a keyword that I have um, already I have a sync with the Bluetooth so what I can do is just hit the space bar and we start moving but if I want to go up it will prompt me to purchase the premium version which is I think is um, $20 per year or $59 and you can get a perpetual license for it. So I don't want to do that, say no thank you, but at least I can control the pause and the play. You know, you can also play with the margin. I mean, you can go even, and it will be more in the center. If I click again on the margin, make it more narrow, but that's too narrow, so I'm gonna make it more wide. To something like that okay great and also uh, you have a cute indicators you're gonna show clock oh that's the clock over there and basically that's it remote controls i mean you have the chance you, you, you can use a keyboard game controller presentation remote meter remote 
blah, blah. But that's actually with the premium version. Okay, so on the script, I actually import one from Node and it's like this. So it's black. I mean, it's white. It has a white background and the letters are black. So even though it's like this, it's because Node doesn't have much features that I can use. What I can do here is go to phone and bring it higher. Line spacey. I already actually opened it up. And then to make it more readable. Cool. So I'm gonna go back here. And now I can, uh, let me see the background. I can't do Y because, wait, if I do Y, it actually turns. Now I can actually read it better. But in order for you uh, to do like the one on the sample, what you gotta do is just open a, maybe a Google Word document and on documents, uh, you can create the the letters white, but the background black. So when you import the, the document, it's already like that. So that way, all you got to do is right here, create a black background, and it will look like this. And you can do that on Google Docs, which is free as well. All right, and that's pretty much it. To be honest, uh, this is a great application for um, for the beginners or maybe intermediate. I mean, it has all the features. I would say more of the basic features that you need in order to control a read with your talent. Um, obviously, he has limitations where you had to control this remotely. They say you had to mirror this iPad with the computer where you had to edit on the run, bring it up and down rather than just stop the recording and then just do it yourself in front of the camera. But uh, again, depending on the f um, what you're doing, depending on the budget of the uh, the, the job that you're doing, or even for yourself when while doing YouTube videos or any other kind, unless you buy the premium version. But anyways, that's it for me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, leave a comment if you have any questions, put a thumbs up, and I'll see you next video. Bye bye.